Good afternoon, everyone. Three weeks ago, we're seeing civilian sites being devastated. We're seeing people being being killed. Um, hundreds, thousands uh, of people, civilians. And yes, as I said, again, as the president said yesterday, um, in his opinion, uh, war crimes are being committed. I agree with that. Uh, after all the destruction that we've seen, it's really hard to conclude otherwise. But um, what we're doing is this, and I'll, and I'll come to your question. We are, in the first instance, supporting the very important work that's being done, the evidentiary process, to bring the evidence together, to document what's happened. So we need to go through this process of compiling the evidence, collecting the evidence, uh, understanding uh, the evidence. We'll share that, uh, and our allies and partners, I'm sure, will do the same with uh, all of the uh, investigations that are ongoing to support accountability using every tool that we have available. I'm not going to get ahead of, uh, first of all, what the outcome will be or what the consequences will be, but I can say uh, with uh, conviction that there will be accountability for any war crimes that are determined to have occurred. Aleppo and Grozny, he, he does it repeatedly. He's a repeat offender you know, as a war criminal. Andrea, when, um, when we said before Russia's aggression that there would be ma massive consequences for that aggression, uh, including unprecedented sanctions on Russia, I know some people had their doubts. I think we've demonstrated that we've been good to our word. Uh, when we said that there would be sustained, powerful support uh, for Ukraine, uh, and its efforts to defend itself. Uh, we've demonstrated that we're good to our word. So when I tell you that there will be accountability and consequences uh, for any war crimes that have been committed, um, I hope you'll take me at my word, but actions always speak louder than words. With regard to uh, the American citizen, I can confirm that an American citizen was killed. I don't have any more details uh, for you than that, uh, but I can confirm that. Our focus is on ending this, this war. I don't want to speculate uh, about the future, but there's going to have to be one way or another accountability for this uh, war of aggression.